if data is multiple bytes then there are two ways to represent the data one is little endian another one is big endian so let's see what is the difference between these two and also this topic is of computer architecture here we will just touch basics as required for the c program okay suppose that you have 5 and in binary 5 can be represented like this in 32 bits now since it is clearly multiple bytes so that is why you have two ways okay this is one byte this is another byte this is another byte this is another byte these are four byte of data right now there are not four factorial ways or something okay this is not like that there are only two ways there are only two ways in which we can represent this data one is called little indian another one is called big indian little indian is the way where you have the byte ordering in the reverse way which means this is the first byte where you will be having and this is the second byte third byte and fourth byte which means if this is the address 1000 this is 1001 this is 1002 this is 1003 then at 1000 you are storing this but here you are storing directly which means at 1000 you are storing this at 1001 you are storing this at 1002 you are storing this and at 1003 you are storing this byte so in big indian you represent directly but in little indian you represent with the reverse order okay now this endianness should not reflect from the user point of view which means suppose user have uh, some variable which is i which is 5 now if you print this 5 or if you print this i then it will be just 5 only it will not be like based on the endianness so which means at user point of view it should not matter which endianness system is using so let's understand this with uh, with some more example but before that let's see that what is happening inside the hook so see this 5 in the little indian is represented like this and the big indian is represented like this so whenever you are storing the data in the little indian it's like this in the big indian it's like this so whenever you are fetching how it will fetch it will first reverse it right and then it will convert to decimal and how it is happening in the big indian is that it will directly convert to decimal why because it already stored in the similar fashion which is required for the like uh, the similar fashion as as uh, compared to binary pattern right so here i am i am first reversing then i am storing that is why whenever i am fetching the data i need to first reverse it and then i need to fetch the data so let's understand this with more example and before that the indianness is only applicable to the single variable which means if you have multiple variables or if you have an array let's suppose there is some array then this endianness does not reverse the array order okay endianness can't change the array order which means this is abcd this is abcd abcd in both little indian and big indian similarly if this is 1 2 3 4 integer array then it is 1 2 3 4 in little indian big indian so endianness does not change the array order but if one element of the array is of multiple bytes then we will store this element based on the endianness see let's zoom out at this one and let's see what is happening for one element of this array so if you zoom out at this one you see that in the little indian it is stored in the reverse way and in the big indian it is stored in the similar way as the binary pattern so array order is not changing see step by step array order is not changing but whenever you are zooming out the just one element then it will be stored in the reverse way in the little indian and in the similar way in the big indian so if you see this two two is also stored in similar way similarly three and similarly four in the in the little indian 2 is stored in the reverse way and 2 is stored in the similar way in the big indian right now if it is a b c d now if you zoom at this a see in the little indian big indian both will have the same order because array order uh, does not matter on the endianness now if you zoom on this a this is just one byte so that is why in the little indian also it is a in the big indian also it will be stored like this right because it is just one way it is not multi byte of data so this indianness comes into the picture when you have multiple bytes of data see here data is multiple bytes then there are two ways to represent the data right now let's let's see this example and let's see how this five is getting stored and what is happening see we can make any pointer to point to any location in the memory which means let's suppose 5 is stored in this now let's not worry about the little indian big indian let's suppose 5 is stored in the memory location in the little indian it will be stored in the reverse in the big indian it will be stored in the as it is as the same binary pattern but here i want to tell you that let's suppose there are three pointers i can make these three pointers point to the same location which means i can ask this p to point to this i can ask this s to point to this i can ask this c to point to this i can ask all of this to point to this how will i will be doing it maybe it is very easy for the p it is just address of i because it is integer 
for s also you can write address of i but let's just be nice to the compiler let's just type cast it because because this address of i is not just a uh, in, like a short uh, short int address it is an integer address so let's let me just convert this to a short int address like this then it will be fine and then also you can you can say that char star address of i so now p s and c all of them are pointing to 100 only 1000 uh, only which means p s and c both are uh, all of them are having 1000 as an initial value but what will happen if you increment the value if you do some arithmetic on this if you do some arithmetic on these variable then this will be 1004 because it's it's a pointer type it, it's an integer pointer so that is why it will just skip one integer it will be 1002 because it is a short type so it will skip two bytes it will be 1001 because it is a carry type so it will be just skipping one byte so based on the data type of the pointer it will be skipping the bytes but the initial values are same so any number of pointer can point to the similar location but based on the type of the pointer the arithmetic will work so that is where that is where the type of the pointer is, is important right similarly if you do star p star p means fetch four bytes and get the answer so it will it will tell the answer based on the four bytes and similarly star s will tell the answer based on just two bytes and star c will get the answer just based on the one byte so the arithmetic or the dereference will depend on the type of the variable it is int short or cat but the initial values could be same which means the all of the pointers could point to the same location okay now let's see this example in this example what i'm saying that i is uh, some integer which is 511 so 511 binary is like this and then i want p2.2 uh, address of i let's suppose this i is stored in memory so uh, let's suppose these are the four bytes and i is stored like this if it is little indian it will be stored in the reverse way if it is big indian i think i have that example yes if it is little indian it will be stored in the reverse way if it is big indian it will be stored like this suppose this is thousand okay i i address is thousand this will be thousand one this will be thousand two this is thousand three this is thousand this is thousand one this is thousand two this is thousand three now what i'm saying here is that p should point to i right p equal to address of i which means P is pointing to I. So in the little Indian it is pointing here, in the big Indian also it is pointing here. So it is pointing to the location whatever it is stored as the thousand only. At the in the little in Indian it is stored like this, in the big Indian it is stored like this. Now what I am saying is that star P, okay, P is a character type. So star P means it will just fetch one byte. So in the little Indian it will fetch just this, in the big Indian it will fetch just this, right. So in the little Indian answer will be, so okay, in the little Indian answer will be this is all ones. So if you are treating this all ones as a as a signed integer as a signed integer then the answer will be minus one okay and basically it is a signed integer and the integer promotion will happen signed character and the integer promotion will happen and then you need to treat as a sign a sign thing so uh, all of that story i have told in the previous lecture so i'm not going to repeat it since that star p is a signed character that is why the uh, that is why the integer promotion will take place based on the uh, this msb so all ones and all ones uh, if you are treating this again as a percent d which is signed number then it will be minus one so minus one is the answer in the little indian okay and most of the computer follows little indian so in most probably in your computer minus one will be the answer and zero will be the answer in the big indian so zero will be the answer in the big indian you are getting so based on the indianness i can have different different answers if i am just fetching one byte what if I am fetching, uh, fetching the complete 4 bytes? So let's just see with another example. Suppose that it is 255 I am storing and then this is star p equal to address of i which means p is pointing to the i. So this is 255 and p is pointing to i. So in the little Indian it will be like this, uh, 255 is like this, in the big Indian 255 is like this. So p is pointing to uh, this location which is 1000 here and this is also 1000. So memory location is 1000 in both the case. In the little Indian it is uh, at the 1000 it is stored like all ones and in the big Indian or the 1000 all zeros are stored. Okay. Now if I am getting star p, if I am um, taking star p then just uh, just forget about little Indian and big Indian and just think from the user point of view. From the user point of view it will be always 255. Right. It should always be 255. So what is happening behind the scene is that in case of big Indian, it will just give you, star p means just fetch this 4 bytes, so it will just give you 255, right. In case of big Indian, it always gives just 255. In case of little Indian, what does happen is that whenever you are fetching multiple bytes, it will just take these, reverse this and then 
fetch the answer right because it has stored in the reverse way that is why it, it will always uh, always reverse before giving you the answer so if you reverse this it will be just this in the binary and it will be again 255 right so 255 is answer in both indianness if you are fetching all four bytes right but if you are fetching or only just one byte then this will be uh, like answer which is minus one and zero i hope you got it so see here in case of little linear it is stored in a reverse way so also when we fetch some value it first reverse and convert to the decimal right so we it will first reverse so if you are fetching star p means getting four bytes so it will first reverse it and then convert to the to, to the decimal that's why 255 is answer and in this case also like uh, in this case it will be stored in the similar way it, it it will give the answer directly without reversing because we have stored in the similar fashion as a binary pattern right now let's see this example in this example what i'm saying that 255 is i and i want s to point to 255 okay so typically i should be writing it short int star let me just type cast it if you if you do not want any warning i can type cast it now i'm saying star s star s means give me just two bytes now this is interesting see what i'm saying this is 255 in binary in big indian it will be like this in little indian it will be like this so s is pointing to thousand uh, like whatever is stored is thousand and here also whatever is stored is thousand it's just that uh, at thousand we have the different different numbers in case of little indian big indian now whenever i'm saying star s big indian will say like give me these two bytes so in case of big indian answer will be just zero but in case of little indian it will also say that give me these two bytes but not directly it will first reverse it right so it will if it if you reverse it it will be all zeros and then all ones like this then it will be 255 right so in case of little indian answer will be 255 in case of big indian answer will be zero why it is zero directly and in case of little indian before giving the answer if this is multiple bytes it will just reverse all the bytes and then will give you the answer right this is how it happens in case of little indian see in case of little linear since it shows in the reverse way that's why we need to fetch if we are fetching these two bytes we need to uh, we can fetch these two bytes but we need to reverse these two bytes and then we are getting the answer which is 255 is answer here in case of big indian star s is just zero because these are the two bytes that we, we are interested in that is why zero is the answer right now let's solve this question this question is not related to little indian big indian but it will just make you familiar with the pointer type cast and how these pointers are happening as i just told you that any memory location can be pointed by different different type type of pointers now what happens if you do some arithmetic on these type of pointers so there is a string which is str and this is stanford university and a is some character from that string and b is something like this and c is something like this now what they want they want to get the final b and c like a will be t because it is str str of 1 and then they want b and c so let me uh, let me just show you this representation so stanford is uh, a long string at the end it is uh, it is ending with the null character because here i have not specified the size so it will end with the null character and these are the indices okay i have not written all the indices but that is okay now what i'm saying is that b is this thing which is str int star which means str is actually kind of pointing here and if you type casting it with int star then it will behave like an integer pointer if you do not type cast then str plus 0 will point here str plus 1 will point here str plus 1 will point here str plus 2 will point here like this but if you type casting with the integer pointer then if you're doing plus 3 then it will skip 14 oh, sorry uh, it, it will skip 4 into 3 which is 12 bytes right so which means you need to find out this whole thing will be this whole thing will be str like uh, it will skip the 14 uh, uh, the 12 bytes it, it will be str plus 12 so str plus 0 is this str plus 11 will be this str plus 12 will be this right str plus 12 will be this and then you are saying it is again a character type pointer so now now it is it is again a character address which means if you are dereferencing it then you will just dereference dereference one byte so uh, if you dereference one byte it will be just v right and now what you are doing you are saying that str of size of int star so size of int star means int star let's suppose the integer pointer or any pointer in our system is having 8 bytes okay then it will be str of 8 so str of 0 is this str of 8 will be this which is just space so here you will be having some space right so this will be space that's how you can solve this question the only interesting part here in this question is that if you are doing some type casting and then you are doing the pointer arithmetic this pointer arithmetic will depend on what type of pointer it is so it is not uh, just a character type pointer it is an integer type pointer and then arithmetic will depend on the a type of this pointer and then i am again type casting it to character then which means i am saying that if you want to dereference then just dereference using 
वन बाई सपोज सपोज आई डू नॉट डायरेक्टली डी रेफरेंस इट आई आई जस्ट डू प्लस वन हेयर ऑल्सो ओके आई बिफोर डी रेफरेंसिंग आई डू प्लस वन विल इट स्किप वन बाइट और फोर बाइट सिंस इट इज अगेन अ करेक्टर टाइप पॉइंटर देन इट विल स्किप जस्ट वन बाइट देन ई विल बी द आंसर इफ आई जस्ट डू प्लस वन बिफोर डी रेफरेंसिंग देन ई विल बी द आंसर वाई बिकॉज इट विल जस्ट गो टू गो टू द नेक्स्ट बाइट बिकॉज इट इज अगेन करेक्टर टाइप पॉइंटर आई होप यू गॉट इट